Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about EQ polish. We want to use EQ to make slight adjustments to the frequency responses in our room that the treatment and our room dimensions and our usage are not compatible with. It's not a tool to correct room acoustic issues. It's a polish. It's something that gets that last 10 percent, 15 percent of the problem. Try to get the other 80, 85 percent of the problem with, with treatment in the analog domain. So what do we have? We have electronics that have really high resolution today. I'm really impressed doing our new uh, facility here, our multiple channel uh, research facility. I've been uh, researching, researching and buying a lot of gear and, and cables and stuff like that, and I'm really impressed with it's been 10 years probably since I got involved with gear, but I'm really impressed with the resolution all the way through the supply chain, all the way through the amplifier, the preamps, and the uh, cabling even, for that matter. It's, it's amazing. You know, uh, things have really uh, come a long way in the last 10 or 15 years. They have low distortion. The digital stuff has high sampling rate, so you get as close to the analog waveform as you can. Cables, DAC, speakers, everything's kind of come a long way. Speakers still have a little where to go, but that's always been the issue. You know, speakers have always been the weakest link in the whole process. Um, so we have to take, you know, gear, and then we, what do we do with it? We place it in a room that's really low resolution. You know, there's so many axial modes, there's so many tangential modes, there's so many oblique modes. Reverberation times are off the scale. Setup is wrong. Too many objects in the room. Windows, glass. There's a whole host of variables that contribute to this low resolution situation. So first things, we want to choose the right size and volume to match our usage. Now I get it. A lot of you can't do that. You have an existing room. You want to use it for particular usage. So this is what we have to work with. That's fine, but what you have to realize is that the size of the room determines how great of, uh, an accomplishment or a resolution we're going to get in it because we only have so much space to treat. Treatment takes space, and that's going to make the room smaller. Okay, So we have to treat the low-frequency issues first within the room. Have to. That, that's just a must because... Everything we do from that point on depends on that low frequency treatment. We have to reduce the modal pressure reduction, axial and tangential mode pressure, two wall and four wall pressure. We have to reduce it. There's just no way around it because it'll exaggerate or attenuate certain octave bands. So you're going to hear more of something and less of something. And neither one of those is good. You know, we want a nice balanced response. Okay. It's all about surface area coverage. I always tell people constantly, you have X problem. It's going to take X square footage of coverage on X surface area to treat that problem. One panel, two panels won't do it when it comes to low frequency absorption. And you have to treat the source of the problem, which is the whole wall, not the corners. Jeez. The problem is axial modal pressures are between two parallel wall surfaces, not two parallel corners. That's all nonsense. Treating the corners will not do anything to solve the problems of the room because it's the whole wall causing the problem. What percentage of the wall surface area which is causing the problem is the corner? 5%, 10%? How can treating 5 or 10% of a total problem give you a total solution? It can't. It's another band-aid that the industry uses on, on the uninitiated, okay? Coverage range 50 to 70 percent in most cases. That's what you got to do when you got a bad dimensions to start with, okay? You got to create a new room. We also have to balance the direct versus the reflected energy. In mixed rooms, in listening rooms, we have two channels. Even in multiple channel rooms, we have to balance that direct energy which is the energy from the speaker to the listening position. Now, we got all kinds of other things going on with the wall surfaces. We have reflections. But this thing here has to be balanced. 
So we have to minimize the time signature of the reflections in order to get a nice balance with the direct and reflected energy. So we increase our room resolution with treatment. That's how you do it, with treatment. And you want to get enough of the treatment to deal with the issues, okay? Rate and level of absorption, very, very critical, especially for voice. Building insulation, lint mass materials, all those material types, the wrong rate and level for music and voice. Do they absorb? Yes. But the next question you always have to ask is, what is the rate and level of absorption? Absorption for the sake of absorption is ludicrous when it comes to voice and music. You have to have special curves. You can see those curves in the About section of our website for our foam technology, okay? EQ is just a polish. If we have a, re a frequency response, we just want to, you know, get plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3 dB. We want to polish those up because those will make a huge improvement in the, in the overall response of the music in your room. You can't EQ a plus 12 dB bump, okay? Sounds crazy. It doesn't sound good at all. It sounds like, you know, the opposite of, comp well, it's compression, I guess you could say, but it, it just, it doesn't sound natural. And, and this is where you're letting the electronics take over, and you have to be very careful of that. EQ is a polish. You want to get as much right as you can in the analog domain with treatment, and then use EQ to polish, polish up, because you're not going to get it all. Even in, in the best uh, case scenarios where your dimensions are really favorable, you're still going to have little small issues that EQ can come in and really help you polish it up. So EQ is not a solution, it's a polish. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.